Hello everyone, welcome into this Twin Flame reading. Follow me through the rabbit hole here as we delve into a connection that is a little bit different from the norm. Let's dig in to see where it goes. Hello everyone, welcome in. Happy Saturday. Welcome in on this Twin Flame reading. I think Twin Flame Day is going to be Saturday moving forward for this channel indefinitely. <laughs> Turned out pretty good last time. I, I'm going to use the same format and see where we go to see what kind of connection comes through today. Still do the past, present, and future layout and see where that takes us. Okay. Ooh, past. But it, uh, I'm hesitant to say that this is the past energy because this this is starting high and I'm wondering where we're going from here. Okay. Circus of Love, number eight. Okay, for the past. Present, Rooster Mama. It's very independent kind of energy, which is why I'm worried. Number seven, so eight, seven. Brilliant Virgin, number five. I can kind of see where this is going. I'm, I'm understanding here from here. I'm wondering how we get from here to here, though, that this means something happened, which is why we're here, right? Which is why we're here. I'm going to share with you the blurbs for each of these because, as you know from me saying it over and over and over, I really like what this author writes for her cards. Okay. Circus of Love. Love in all its forms is the ultimate prize in the game of life, but you've got to be in it to win it. There's the key. Forget excuses and open your heart to love, to life, to luck, to laughter, for the circus of love is rolling into your soul town, and it's time for you to be swept off your feet. This means you don't have to do anything. It's coming to you. So I'm wondering what happened. Rooster Mama, the present energy, says Rooster Mama is her own person. She's a rebel, a maverick, a renegade, an offbeat individual who dances to her own rhythms. She is the authentic eccentric who doesn't fall in with the plans other people make for her, but creates her own consciousness with optimism and flair for self-expression. She says you are unique, positive, and rebellious too. Very different energy, right? Very different. Okay, brilliant virgin. Here we go. In a world where we are bombarded daily with differing opinions and ideas, remaining true to you and your own point of view is nothing short of brilliant. Let go of confusion, distortion, comparison, and compromise. You do not need to compare yourself to another or measure up to anyone or anything else. What matters to you in your successful life journey is to be in touch with your own truths. You know what you feel. No matter what anyone else says or believes, stay true to you. This could be sympathetic, okay, to both sides of this story. Okay, actually all of these energies. But because the usual, the usual is the masculine usually runs and the feminine chases until they break that. Okay, and this feels like the break right here. That the present energy, it, it's, it's been broken from circus, circus of Love to Rooster Mama. Because this is very individual energy. Okay. And when things come together and break apart, which is the alchemical process of the twin flame process of the twin flame relationship, break apart, you process the ingredients, and then you bring the connection back together. Still not working. You break it apart, you process or purify, purify the ingredients, and then bring it back together to make it a better version of itself than it was before. And this process happens over and over and over, however many times it needs to, which can make these connections freaking exhausting. To be honest. <laughs> okay. So. This feels like the two of you met. And sparks flew. It tends to happen with twins right. I'm speaking from experience on that one. Because it, it, it does not disappoint. It truly does not. Okay. But when it breaks apart. Like it clearly has here. The. Unearthing. Of the authentic individual is a journey in and of itself. No one can show you the way. You have to find it yourself. You get to decide on what it is. And then when you do, 
you have to stick to your guns instead of falling for anyone else's life plan. Right? Okay. I'm going to lay out the masculine side first. I'm going to do the masculine's cards here, the feminine's here, and then we're going to read it all together like a story. Okay. Let's start with the past, please. Circus of Love for the Masculine. Two of Swords. Nine of Cups. Temperance card of Sag. Hmm. Show me the Rooster Mama for the Masculine. Two of Cups. Uh-huh. Eight of Swords. Queen of Swords. Not surprised. <laughs> Not surprised at all. Okay, Brilliant Virgin. The Future. Here for the Masculine. The Lovers. Card of Gemini. Four of Wands. Three of Swords. Oof. Okay, okay, that that looked painful. Okay, let's get into her. Okay. All right, circus of love in the past for the feminine, please. Seven of Wands. Ooh, okay. Six of Cups, Ten of Coins, Rooster Mama, Present Energy for the Feminine, King of Cups, Card of Scorpio, The Fool, Seven of Cups, oh, okay, all right, the future for the Feminine with the Brilliant Virgin, oh, that's three cards, we're taking them, <laughs> Three of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Page of Coins. Interesting. Queen of Cups there on the bottom. Oh. Okay. Save that for later. Am I surprised by this? Mm, this part I am. For the better. For the better. The majority? No. This 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 feels like twin flame for sure. So the circus of love rolled in to your hometown, to your front door for both of you. Meaning giving the universe gave the gift of each other to each other. You crossed paths. Okay. One of you acted like you didn't see it. That you didn't see that your greatest wish come true was right in front of you. Even though you knew it was there. Masculine. <laughs> You crossed his path, and he acted like he didn't see you. Like he didn't know all of his wishes just came true. Okay, and instead put the connection out to pasture. There's a skepticism here on his side. That's like, hmm, I wonder how long this lasts. It feels like, it's a, it's a phrase I heard in these last few weeks. You don't have a crush on someone, you just don't know them yet. The more you know them, the less your the more your crush lessens because reality takes over the fantasy of the crush. All right. So he has a bit of this skeptic sort of view. Wow, I, I'm getting this person is everything I've ever wanted in another person in a connection. This feels amazing, but I'm going to act like it's no big deal. I'm just going to watch and wait and see what happens and not put a lot of action into connection, which is against masculine energy it's masculine energy is based in action it's what it's what y'all are okay that's what that part of us is it's active whereas she is receptive not passive that doesn't exist for feminine energy sorry not sorry <laughs> for her she had the knee-jerk reaction of black as well but it's coming more as hesitation because she's already comfortable she could have already been in something Ten of Pentacles, she could have already been in something. So the shock of meeting something as powerful as a twin flame connection, it's like, get that away from me. Right? Get, get that away from me. 
I, I already have something or I'm already in something. I'm already comfortable where I am. And what does a twin flame connection do? Make you really freaking uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Can you show me more of what it is that she's in or has with this ten of coins? She's at a marriage that she feels trapped in that she can't leave. Also could probably have a child there. She can't leave. Higher front card of Taurus. She is under the impression that she cannot leave. Ouch. Okay. No wonder the skepticism. How could I have this kind of connection with someone who's taken? And it just hit the moment we meet. How is that even possible? Show me a little bit more here with the temperance for the masculine. Ah. So it caused a little little bit of sadness here because it's it's something he cannot have, cannot be with, right? Um, he may have even told her this to some degree, that he said that there's no opportunity there. It's not that he's saying, hey, you should cheat on your husband with me. No, no, no. It's, ah, oh, found my dream girl. Can't have her. This sucks. Okay. So having to... Got it. Having to move the hope away from a connection when it just arrived, because the connection just arrived. There's a bummer there. Interesting. Interesting. The present seems to be quite a feat for both parties in different ways. Okay, so the masculine here. feels trapped by the connection. This person feels trapped by the connection they're already in. He understands. He has to do what he can to cut this two of cups out of his life. He has to do what he can. He Because he can't, he can't claim it. He can't claim it. He can't have it. He can't have it in any kind of way. So he has to get rid of it. He, he has to. This causes... Because if you hang on to something that's not yours and you keep connection and you keep nursing it and feeding it in some kind of way, it can breed toxicity. It just makes things worse. Especially on the one who's hoping and praying when they're not the one that's in something else that they already have to worry about. Okay. We have different worries on side, each side of the board, right? So he has to take a more authentic, independent approach and clear the slate. If he's going to keep his sanity, right? On the other hand, the feminine is in a place where she's wondering what her options are of where her heart can go. This is a deep dive into trying to figure out, to discover, what does she really want for her life? And when you're attached to obligations, that can make it difficult to see. But she wonders, what is, what is the real love for her? What is the real love and passion that she has for something else, someone else, for her life, for the vision of her world? This requires separation from connection. Not that they got separated. This is something she's at least wondering. Okay, she's at least wondering. So you, in order to, it's difficult, especially for a feminine that's used to taking on most of the family identity, along with housework and things like that. There's so much emotional work that she does for the family that it's hard to separate and view something from an independent energy. So the struggle is real. Because she has two obligations. She's got a marriage and a child. Okay, a marriage and a child. Seeds that have already been planted. Seven coins. Seeds that have already been planted. 
can't uproot it now. It's it's made the ten of coins already, ten of pentacles already. Long term stability with another person usually. Ten of pentacles can be done solo, but in her case, that's a marriage. That is a marriage. Okay. So is there anything that she's figuring out that her heart wants? What options is she entertaining here? Ah, ha, 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 nine of cups, eight of coins, ace of cups, holy shit. Okay, she's, she's entertaining what is my wish. What is my wish for my life? What is it I truly want to see come to pass? What love do I want? What do I really want? What does it look like? Who is it with? Wow. Wow. Okay. In the cutting out of the two of cups, what happens for the masculine? Okay. Ah, giving himself permission to release is a huge thing for him. He's got the Hierophant 2 card of Taurus. Being stuck in connection where he can't be with the other person is started to create low-key obsession. Okay. Which leads to like some sleepless nights, some anxiety and things like that. So he is in the midst of granting himself permission to uproot this two of cups from his world. In order to clear the slate. We all need our sanity, right? Obsessing about someone who can't be yours because they're already committed. That, that's got to go. That's not good for anyone involved. Okay. What is interesting here in the future? Okay, what is interesting here in the future? Her entire life changes on its ear. Okay, he is still hanging on to the dream. It's hurting him a bit. Three of swords right there. It's hurting him a bit. Okay. Because I don't know what degree of separation is now in place once he cuts this out. Is it no contact between the two of you? Because you're being asked here in the future to stand up to what it is as your beliefs and truths. They believe, they believe it's this connection that is the truth. It's literally, this is literally twin flame. Lovers four of wands, this is literally twin flame. And yeah, it, it, yeah it's causing some anxiety because it's not coming together. It could even hurt from time to time because it's not coming together. But that still is his truth. He believes that to be his truth. I'll be darned. Interesting thing. Her entire world is at a loss. This is out in the cold, seeing what's out there and we're learning new things. So I wonder... If she did separate after all, we're going to find out. <laughs> okay, show me what she's out for the cold, out in the cold with here with the Five of Pentacles, please. Divorce. Boom, there it is. Yep, he's pissed too. <laughs> Justice card of Libra, Page of Wands, King of Wands, Leo Energy. She's, yep. It's taken some time, but this home is breaking down. Tower, temperance, Scorpio, Sag energy for those keeping track. It's been brutal. It's been super brutal. And it's made everyone fucking angry. And you don't, you have no idea that she's been having to start all over. So it's not necessarily because of her that it broke up, broke up. Judgment hit on the connection. And she took initiative. Some sort of judgment happened. So some, some sort of um, non-negotiable hit. Could be anything. Could honestly be anything. And it's going to be different for all of you, of course. Judgment hit and she took action. She's the one that took action to cut it out. See how she, she he's the queen of swords over here for his fate. She decided to be the queen of swords for hers on what to cut out. So she's getting divorced. He's pissed. The kid's angry too. And you know what? That's fine. No one's happy. 
to, to file for divorce. <laughs> no one's happy. They might feel relieved that the process is starting, but no one's happy. It's like, shit, this is going to be hard. So what is she learning? Ah, it took some time for her to figure out what makes her happy. Her twin, Ten of Cups, Temperance card of Sag, Empress card of Taurus and Libra, Seven of Swords. What's 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 the low key here? She understands it took her too long to get out of the thing that she's in because of her own um, opposition. It took the universe. She she sees clearly, which is why she's in her divine feminine now. She sees clearly. She brought it to the edge where there were all the signs to leave. And she want, wouldn't. So the universe went, bing, <laughs> to tip her right over the edge. To where it's undeniable she has to face it. She absolutely has to face it. There's something here where she's admitting that it got a little scary. So for whoever that is, I'm glad you are exiting or have exited or will be exiting. Do what you got to do to keep yourself safe. Interesting. Okay. So in the future, in the future, he's still hanging on, thinks that this is his truth. In the future, she's going to be going through shit. Okay. If this is your connection... <laughs> I'm going to head to the extended and we're going to see if his truth prevails. All right. In the meantime, sis, if this is you, start putting protections in place to protect yourself, your energy, and your kids. Do what you got to do. Do the research. Do you. It's time. All right, you guys. If you're interested to see what happens, the link is for the extended is down below. And I'll see you over there. Bye. Bye.